Uh, going pretty good. Stoked to be in Europe now. Um, we didn't know if we were going to be able to get over here and everything, so we're happy to start the first contest of the season. It was definitely like a little weird, like starting last year in March, you know, everyone in America was locked down. And then uh, once stuff started loosening up, we were able to go snowboard in Mount Hood in July. Um, and then we came over to Europe in October. And then once snow started falling in the US, I've just been snowboarding a bunch in Mammoth and Tahoe and Utah. And yeah, just been trying to get on my board as much as possible. It's nice to be back in the bib and get back into competing. We didn't know what was going to happen, so it's definitely cool to like have a little sense of normality and be able to snowboard again and compete. Yeah, 15, 16. Yeah, it's been cool because um, we've always, I don't know, it's just been something that I wanted to do. and so. It was really cool when I was younger to be competing against some of my idols and people that I looked up to growing up snowboarding and being able to compete against them is a really cool opportunity. Like Stale Sandbeck and Mark McMorris and you know Sebastian Toutant and those dudes, those are who I grew up looking up to snowboarding when I was growing up snowboarding. And so like to see them at the event and you know, watch them ride is awesome. I think that was maybe um, when I first kind of saw that I could maybe do this and make a career out of this was at the US Open when I was 14 and I made the finals in half pipe. From the Junior Jam, I got into the main event and then I made the finals and then um, that was an insane, that was an insane experience being able to snowboard with all these top level dudes at an event that's so prestigious. The crowd, just like the energy there was really crazy. And um, I think that's kind of where I fell in love with uh, competing. I like taking runs through the half pipe, but I don't really like doing tricks anymore. It's pretty scary. I got a lot of respect for the dudes who are riding half pipe. It's super gnarly. Um, yeah, it definitely helps to have some experience because you pip, pick up tips and tricks along the way that um, help you with competing. You know, everyone has their own routine. And so I'm still, you know, I'm still learning as I go. And I'm still trying to improve my technique to, you know, be able to land my runs all the time. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of experience in the contest for sure.